G'day bodgies and widgies and welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Underwater Pet Expo, but most important of all, I've got Blake's Aquatics with me. He's got some really great content and I get to finally feature him in a video and meet him in person. So it's gonna be great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it and uh, I'm glad to finally meet the one person who watches my videos. Yeah. But it's been a really great experience and uh, yeah, I love, it. I love your work, Logic. Okay, so um, on Blake's channel, he did a video with me asking a couple of questions and I kind of want to replicate that because I, I don't have any originality. <laughs> but um, yeah, Blake, first question, what got you into the hobby? Yeah, nice. Um, actually, a long time ago when I was just starting out in uni and stuff like that, um, we, I just got this sort of new girlfriend, my wife now, but uh, mm -hmm. we were wandering around the pet shops and they you know, checking out cats and stuff like that and then yeah. I looked across once and I saw all of these neon tetras in a, in a tank I think yeah. it was just a big box store so uh, nothing crazy but I just couldn't believe that neon tetras were a real thing mm -hmm. they seem like they're sort of like some genetic modification <laughs> or some sort of lab fish but uh, right. once I found out that they actually were naturally occurring and stuff I was just amazed and it really opened my eyes to yeah. how many fish there are and what sort of natural beauty there is in the world so so that's what got me started, the humble neon tetra. The humble neon tetra. Yeah. Um, and how long have you been here? Not that long, actually. A lot of people are surprised about probably two and a half years. Two and a half? Wow, yeah. that's so, crazy. What? So, so the thing is, though, is um, I actually have been researching fish for about nine years, yeah. watching videos and all that stuff. But um, because I was at uni, moving around all the time in small apartments and things like that, didn't end up pulling the trigger on a fish tank for a long time. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so I guess that's the thing. I've been interested in fish for nearly a decade, but I've only kept it for a short time. Right. But, uh, it's been exponential growth since then. So. Yes. In, uh, the, in the past two and a half years, how many tanks do you have now, Blake? Running at home, there's 40, including five ponds. Right. But uh, may have got a bit excited at the Pet Expo today, and uh, we've gotten that number up to 47. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going, Almost 50. We're going onwards and upwards. So. But yeah, we'll see how we go. So Blake is trying to convince me to get more fish tanks, but I need to convince Blake to get an extra three more. Yeah. And that way we reach 50, it's a milestone. <laughs> That's right, I'll convince you to get 49, you convince me to get three, and we'll reach 50 together. Done. <laughs> well, I just sort of, on that topic, um, I like to do sort of different and unusual fish. Um, yeah. So my main thing is sort of epistogramas, but I've got a bit of a variety, so I've got the wild bedders, discus, angelfish, and stuff like that. And I've also got the platies, grissomers, guppies, and, and those sort of fish oh, that people yeah. keep. So uh, you know, I try and give everything a go, see what I like and what I don't like, and just let the hobby take me yeah. in its own direction. And what's your, I guess, dream, or like a pinnacle fish or aquarium that you want to keep before yeah. you want to reach in your hobby? Well, uh, just recently I got a Saratoga, and I'd really like a big tank with the yeah. ray down the bottom and Saratoga at the top. Yeah. Which is kind of unusual because I'm a bit of a plant guy and yeah. <laughs> uh, that won't be able to have any plants unless I do some stuff above the tank with bromeliads and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, which might happen. I might end up turning it into a giant paludarium or something. That would be like really that. wicked. Uh, so that's the thing is I don't really know where I'm going to go with this thing. But We've uh, kind of gone in opposite directions because I started off with a Saratoga. Well, I used to keep predator fish and now I've moved into the planted aquariums and communities. Lake's gone the other way. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting how that goes. But yeah, you know, I might backflip anyway and decide that you know, uh, guppies are my favourite fish in the world. Yeah. And maybe all the tanks will be filled up with guppies. So, who yeah. knows? So, Blake, why did you start your YouTube channel? Well, um, I guess when you ramp up to so many tanks in a relatively short period of time, um, yeah. I wanted to document how things were going and um, just the process of starting things out, what was going well, what wasn't. Um, so it was really for me to sort of diarise what I was doing. Yeah. Um, I'm not really one to write things down or anything like yeah. that. And uh, I started taking videos and then I was storing them just on my computer. I uh, quickly filled up the computer and yeah. uh, chucked them online because it was an easy way to store them. Yeah. After that, a couple of people started watching and then I jumped into these sort of communities and it's been really great. So I found that it's really uh, raised my enjoyment of the hobby a, a heap to so involve and troubleshoot with people and yeah. stuff like that so it's been it's been awesome and now he's a celebrity <laughs> not quite but uh with that um i do sort of run the ask blake tab on yeah. the korean square hearts uh, .com. Yeah. um so feel free if you do have any questions um 
even if I don't know them immediately, I'll talk to somebody who does know the right answer and we'll get to the bottom of it for you, um, no matter what sort of level the question is on. So. And your competition with uh, BioPro. Uh, yes. Yeah, depending on how quick of an editor you are, uh, the, bio, the BioPro competition might still be running. So I'm um, going to draw it on March 7th, giving away two packs worth uh, over $100 each. Uh, each pack has about you know, a filter, air pump, um, oh, lights, heater, all that sort of good stuff. So pretty much you can, it'll be right to throw a whole tank together with the pack. So good luck if you enter. Um, to do that, you just gotta like the um, Aquarium Spare Parts Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube account and comment with Ask Blake and you're in the running. So good luck. Done deal, make sure you enter. I did, <laughs> the competition is on. So thanks for having me on today. Appreciate uh, you asking me to jump on the channel. No worries. So appreciate it and uh, all the best. I'll have Blake's channel in the description below. You guys are probably coming from his channel to mine, but um, if you haven't discovered Blake yet, he's got some really amazing content. And again, I'm really happy to meet him in person. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> question. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> We're gonna run out of... Yeah. Um, what did you start this channel with? Oh, yeah. Oh, should I ask it again? Yeah, because we oh, made yeah. it from the start.